Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to a new video. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're excited to sew because I am. So today I'm thinking about a dress I saw when I went to the mall with my mom. Now this dress I will put here. It sat in my heart and I said I want you. And then I looked at the price tag and it was $300 and I thought I don't got funds, but you know what I do have? A sewing machine and a ride to Value Village. And so I got this fabric, which is in the wash. I can't even show you, but it's white and it's got blue flowers and it looks like a china teapot and it's really pretty and you'll see a lot of it. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm going to make it and I'm going to show you how to make it because we're such good friends. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. My first order of business is always the bodice because I feel like that's the hard part and I like getting it out of the way. And so in the dress, it's in the dress, it's kind of like a front bit and then the sleeve bit and then the actual sleeve. And it's very similar to this dress I have, which I haven't gotten the chance to wear yet. But believe me, when I do, it's going to be great. And so I'm going to illegally download the pattern from this. And by that, I mean I'm going to lay it on the floor and trace it on some tracing paper. And yeah, so let's do that. So I folded the bodice in half. And I just have it laid like this so that when we cut it on the fold, it'll have the perfect like mirror image. And I'm going to trace this bit and probably cut it off here. And then I'm going to trace this bit to here and around the sleeve area. So this is the pattern that I've started with. And I'm just going to take this bit and add a little bit of a sweetheart neckline because that's what the original dress has. And then I'm gonna go around and add about a quarter of an inch of a seam allowance. I might add half an inch Whatever you're comfortable with, really. Now, like I said, I'm just cutting them out on the fold. And I'm trying to get as much as that beautiful blue flower pattern on these pieces as possible. I have pinned it all on to Miss Vivian. And I am just going to sew along these seams. And I'm going to be doing a French seam, which might not actually be necessary because... This fabric is woven really nicely, but I'm just going to do it because I'm extra. I just cut out my simple bodice block um, for the back piece, but I cut it a little bit wider because I think for a closure I'm going to have an open back and it's just going to have a button at the top and a button down here. So I'm going to sew on these shoulder seams and these side seams. Whoop. Make sure they're all lined up and work from there. Okay, I'm in a different outfit because it's St. Patrick's Day, so I had to wear green. Um, so, we've got our bodice. It looks quite pretty if I do say so myself. And since we're going to have the open back, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, this is the back, fold it in half and line up all the seams. Make sure you don't get the front bits because you don't want to snip them. And then once you've got it all lined up, I'm just going to cut straight down the center. And you can hem it now, but I think I'm going to hem it when it's connected to like the full skirt and everything. So I'm just going to snip that once I have it laid down on the table because I don't want to make a mess of it. And then we'll be able to pin it back on our dress form because if you tried to squeeze this over your head, you'd pop every single seam and then you'd cry. So don't do that. Okay, so now I think I'm going to make a waistband that'll go around here. And I'm going to do it in three pieces. One that is the full length around from this piece all the way around to here. And then I'm going to make two pieces the same size 
that will act as ties that I will connect around each side seam. And I think I'm going to make each of those like 30 inches, maybe more, maybe less, depending on how big of a bow you want in the back. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it probably two inches wide. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so I have got my, oops, they're still pinned together, my big strips cut out, and I've got them folded in half. Oh gosh, see? So I cut it out double the length, but I'm just going to iron it to crease it down in half. But the thing is, when I bought it, it didn't really have a tag that said what it was. So I'm going to take this little test strip, and I am assuming that it's 100% cotton. So I'm going to first iron it on the cotton setting, but as we saw in my last video, that's really hot. So if it has any polyester, it will melt. And so, by doing this test strip, we're not going to risk, like, ruining the actual stuff. We're just going to risk this little piece. So, I'm going to do that. Let me just press. See, and it hasn't melted. Oh, nope, it hasn't melted. It's perfectly fine. So, I'm going to assume that it is 100% cotton, and I'm just going to iron these strips. So I went ahead and hemmed two of the three tubes, and what I'm going to do, so the one that I didn't hem is going to be our, like, waistband, and I'm going to measure seven inches in on each side, and then I'm going to put my little snake there, and then I'm going to sew it down, and I'm going to do that on both sides. Now that we've got our little worms attached, we can sew the waistband to the bodice. So I'm just gonna go along there with a French seam. So do it with wrong sides facing, flip it over and encase the raw edge. So I have attached our waistband and I'm just gonna show you how the ties just really cinch it nice and nice and good. Look at that, so pretty. And so now I'm going to take a break from the top and I'm going to start on the skirt. And so I'm going to do it in three tiers. Each one is going to be a little bit longer. So I like my skirts to be just above the ankle because I like that like Lydia Dietz look where you're showing off your, your Doc Martens. And so I'm just going to measure from, you know, my waist where this ends to where the top of my ankle is, and I'm going to break that into three sections. Like, and that's how tall each piece is gonna be. The first one is going to be the width of, like, all the way around the, all the way around the waist times 1.5. So it's one and a half of my waist. The second is going to be three times the width of my waist and the third one is just gonna be I don't know 4.5 times the width of, width of my waist yeah let's do that okay we have all three pieces cut out this is the little one which is the one I'm going to start with and I'm gonna do what I always do and do a really long stitch down this bit and then I'm gonna gather it. So this is the bodice piece and I've gathered down the top layer of the skirt to be the same length as the bottom of it. So I'm going to stitch that onto there using a French seam. I have got this top layer on and I'm going to repeat the process with the second and third layers. Okay, this is where we are so far. The skirt is looking very nice. But the thing is, it's still completely open down the back. So I'm going to sew all the way up until about um, four inches from the waistband. 
which is covered with this bow. But yeah, so we'll leave a little gap so we can get in and out. But I'm going to sew that up. Now that the back is mostly stitched up, um, I'm going to go ahead and hem all the way up here with a rolled hem because we are going to put some buttons. So this is the neckline and I've just folded it in half and because it's got this little dip, it's really hard to hem it. So what I'm going to do is make like I don't know what it's called, but I'll just show you. So first we're going to trace this little bit about halfway up the neckline. And then we are going to make it about an inch down and like that. And I just like, so I traced it and then I added about an inch of leeway around. And I'm just going to cut this out on the fold two times. Here's my little neck piece. It looks kind of like garbage now, but that's okay because no one sees it. So I'm just going to sew around all of the outside bits, but I'm going to leave the top like not touched so we can fold it inside out. Now that I've got the raw edges encased, I'm going to line it up on the outside of the dress with the neckline. And I'm going to be pinning that down and stitching along it. Now I've stitched all around here, I'm going to clip the edges as cleanly as possible and flip it inside out. See, now that it's been flipped inside out, we've got a good clean edge and this is a good alternative to fully lining the bodice because that would take a lot more fabric. But I'm just going to go ahead and press this nice and flat with my iron and then we can move on. It is finally sleeve time. Now, the original dress just has regular t-shirt sleeves, but being me, I think that I'm going to do a little bit of a puff sleeve. It might not even be noticeable because it might just be so little. But I'm just going to take my trusty little sleeve pattern, cut it out on the fold, and I'll show you me doing that. Now, if you know anything from watching my videos, because I think I've never done anything with sleeves that didn't have a puff sleeve, the way I do it is, so usually you just cut it out like this on the fold, but I put it about two inches or an inch and a half away so that it adds about three extra inches when it's unfolded that you can gather at the top. I'm here to give you a pro tip about sleeves. If you, the second you cut out your sleeve, the second it like looks like this, you are going to finish the bottoms before you do the side seam. Because once you do that, it's going to be a lot of work to try and hem the bottom and you're going to want to die. So I don't care if you are late for your root canal, you finish the bottom of your sleeve the second you cut it out. Okay? So that's what we're doing. So I cut out this little piece, which is the width around my arm at where this is going to be. And so I'm going to gather this down so it fits in here. And then I'm just going to encase it like that. So this is how my sleeves looked once I gathered them down. And I just made this by... Like, you could use bias tape, but I just fold in the two raw edges and then fold it over the bottom. Or you could simply hem it, but I like this because it encases the pleats that I put in. And I just did two pleats. I eyeballed them so that they would fit, but you can do that however you'd like. You could do more pleats. You could just not do it. You could do a gather stitch. Such is life. I just simply straight stitch this on, and now I'm going to fold this. Uh, right sides together and just straight stitch down this seam. I could do a French seam, but I'd like to keep it as like not bulky as possible. But you know, do what makes you comfy. Okay, now we're going to be setting in the sleeves. Now I did this one on this side. And so I just have two pleats on the top. So when I pin it in, that's like the only modification I did. So, of course, 
you take the, when your sleeve is like this, this is the short side, and you're going to pin it in like this with the, the good sides out and touching, and I'm going to wrap around to the top. And once I get to the top, I'm going to make the pleats. Okay, so you're, you're viewing the sleeve from the inside. And so this is the top, this is the shoulder seam, and we've got a lot of extra fabric just hanging out. And so we're just gonna do a box pleat. Just by, of course I'm gonna do this better once I put the camera down, like, like that, squish it down. So I've gone and pinned those down, and you can flip it up to see how, if it looks how you want it. And then I'm just going to take this over to the sewing machine and go around here. Now that we've got on our sleeves, it's time for the finishing touch. A single little button right here. Because I'm going to leave the back open and the tie is going to secure it around the waist. So that's pretty much it. Okay, now that our little button is on, I'm going to take, this is a little piece of elastic, and that's what I'm going to use as my loop. And I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to loop it over there, and then I'm going to measure it, and put what's left, like, at the end so that it loops over and can reach, and then I'm going to sew it on this side. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch to do that, so remember to do that. Now that we've stitched on our little, this guy, our little... What's he called? Our elastic. I'm gonna go ahead and snip those threads because that looks ugly. But other than that, she's done. Ah, okay. <laughs> now I think this dress is absolutely beautiful. And so I'm gonna show some pictures. I. I just love it. I think it's pretty. I think it's really easy. If you're like a beginner, this would be a good project for you because it's not a lot of fabric because the skirt is just like straight out and the back, you don't have to do any zippers. You only have to sew on one button. It's closed using a bow, which everyone knows how to tie. Unless you can't, then I'm sorry. Then I guess you need a more beginner project. Um, so yeah. I think that this is a really good project for learning, it's really simple, it's fun. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this video and making this with me. I had a lot of fun making it for you, but really I made it for me, you can't have it, it's mine. Um, so have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.